Hey guys, welcome back to the Blockception server, and as usual, we are in my storage room. Uh, don't worry, we're not going to work in here today. Uh, however, a couple things I want to show. Um, I recorded this before, but I guess I'll just do it again, because uh, that footage is all broken up. I've got my uh, brewing room set up here with my furnaces. Uh, that should be smooth stone. Got ender chests installed in the ceiling now, and there's a floating piece of water here. I melted ice to get that, and then removed the torches after. Right now these dispensers are empty, so I need to fill them really quick. I don't really use this feature, it's just kind of a cool thing to have. I'll show you what it is in a moment. Hold on, gotta get all my stuff. Crap, I don't have any glowstone. Alright, well, we'll have to sub something in for that. Let's take empty bottles, and... Uh, We'll use water bottles for that, I guess, to simulate glowstone for now. So back one here is for glowstone, or in this case, water bottles. The front is for bottles, I believe. Left is for wart. And right is for redstone. Actually, I think these are backwards. I think redstone goes in the back one. Not quite sure. Don't have that quite down yet, but I believe now... With both levers flipped up, when we hit dispense, we should receive three empty bottles and nether wart, and then we would quickly go up and fill it, and then I'll just do it. So the point of this is so we can shift-click the nether wart, but I found that it was actually more efficient just to click in the nether wart most of the time. So now if we flip this, if we did it right, if we put those dispensers in right, um, yeah, we did it backwards that one is meant to be the redstone and this one is meant to be the glowstone so let's flip that really quick and for some reason oh, I've accidentally filled up a bottle okay well let's just throw this in here and shift click it let's try this again there we go now we get one bit of redstone look up and we've got the redstone ready for the potion when it's done brewing so I'm just going to throw this back in there. Actually, I'll take them all out now. I don't need it anymore. So we're going to flip that lever up now. And this one, when we flip that, we will receive a water bottle and our three. That water bottle would normally be a, uh, a glowstone, but I'm out of glowstone at the moment. I need to take another trip. So yeah, i got to go get some more of that. But... I haven't really been using those features that much, but I have been pretty busy on the potion brewing. I've got pretty much a chest of all the potions. I used some of them already. Uh, if you saw the stream, you know that. Not that many of you see the stream. I've got some speed dispensers. But, um, yeah, that's basically all there is to the potion room. It's uh, been very good. And these furnaces, I just keep loaded up with coal. I've got these chests here to store some more. I've got a bunch of crap in here at the moment, actually. But yeah, these chests are for that. I was on a caving run. I'm going to need to do that soon again. And yeah, that's basically all I wanted to show. Uh, but we are not working over here today. We are actually going to be heading over to the Parthenon. The roof is finally finished. I finally got around to it again. So the roof is done. And today, we're actually going to be working on the bedroom up there. And trying to get a good bit of that done. I want to set up some fancy quick kits and dispensers and things up there. And that should turn out pretty cool, I think. So right now, actually, oh, if you didn't see that, uh, that's Prable's freaking prank. I'll probably show that clip in there after this. But after that, you're going to see a... Uh, I'm going to head over to the creative world. And I'm going to do a little bit of testing on this uh, dispensers. Just to see how exactly I can set up my dispenser room I want to set up a good interface like I want to have options for armor and swords and things like that where I can just kind of grab what I want pretty quickly right when I respawn so say somebody kills me I could push a button to dispense a full set of diamond protection for and then another button to get a good sword or something like that I don't know not quite sure but yeah, I just want to set up some decently compact but cool dispenser systems right by my bed so I can easily re-equip right from my spawn. So yeah, you're going to see that little clip from the pranks, and then I'll see you over in the creative world. Hey guys, uh, I just got back on. I was told to record when I got on. I can uh, kind of see why here. Uh, that, that's good, he put, he put netherrack there so they wouldn't 
pop out all my potions. Um, little prank from Crables, just, I'm assuming out of boredom. How many did he put in here? Quite a few, it looks, oh man, tripwire. Uh, that's just mean. How much did he put? It's like, all the room? Oh my god. Well, thanks, that, that string will be useful. Sorry, I need to go and do not disturb. Alright. Okay, uh, what's this in the center? I'm assuming this is a book. Missing spider. What? <clears throat> it appears that I have lost my pet spider. It appears to have left a lot of web at your base, so my snowmen are investigating. If you have anything to do with this matter, you shall be punished. Too lazy to correct spelling mistakes. It's kind of funny that he actually misspelled that, but it doesn't look like anything else was misspelled. Anything else? De Crables, owner of a missing pet spider. Uh, that's great. That's just excellent. Alright, um, well this is good. I can uh, throw this in here as a new library book. And we'll be putting this in whenever we get around to actually starting the library. So uh, I'm going to clean all of this up, and I'll be back with you in a minute. guys, so the first thing I made here, which is going to be one part of my control panel, is a uh, quad pulser here. Nice and simple. It's just uh, a toggleable clock set to two ticks, so when you push this button, it activates the dispenser once, and then when this torch turns off for the button pulse, this clock goes and does three cycles, causing this dispenser to be fired four times total. And the main point of this is to put armor in it. I mean, you could use it for other things, but my main goal with the whole design is to make it so instead of having to have four dispensers just for my armor, I can just have one for each set. And that should make things a little bit easier. So, yeah, I could have a bunch of these spread out. Maybe, like, one for really powerful diamond armor. One for just a basic set of iron for like caving stuff, um, and then maybe like a let just some leather setup or something with feather falling. I don't know. Just bouncing ideas off here, but yeah, that's the first part of my control panel, and I will talk to you again when I have some more. All right, guys. So I have built a general layout of what I want to do for my resupply room. Uh, one thing I didn't actually account for is the bed. Not sure how I'm going to do that. Maybe I'll do like a double bed across from here. Like a, I'm going to say like an elevated platform right here. I'm just going to do this on camera, I suppose. And yeah, I guess I could have it four wide. Oh god, uh, you can hear a villager down there. I set up a day-night sensor thing. not quite work, but... Uh, he steps on a pressure plate and activates this command block since I'm running on the snapshot. And that way it is never, ever nighttime. Not exactly how it's intended to work, but it works well enough. 
So yeah, we could go like one further out maybe. See? It just randomly activates. So yeah, we could just have our bed set up like that. And I think that will be pretty cool. So we can just spawn here and run down. Uh, say we want like diamond armor, we can push this button. It'll dispense a full set of diamond armor. Then we got iron tools, bow, and then this chest will have arrows. And then this will be like half carrots, half torches. Uh, this one will be full of pearls. And then here, for dispensing water and lava, I actually had to hide a dispenser below here. Because if you look, I'll show you this really quick. If we were to put one up here, then it would spray water in our face, and we don't want that. Actually, can't turn this off now. Crap. Dang it. Uh, crap. How can I do this? Oh, that'll work. Yeah, so we can't put water in the here because it will activate. So we have to have it shoot into a block for it to work properly. So we can just throw water down here. And that works alright. So same with the lava there as soon as I put the buttons back. Just gotta push this. And we get a lava bucket. And when we're done, I guess I might have some pistons pulled pull down or something for that. Right now I'm just laying it out. I'll do the mechanisms there. And then flint and steel pops out normally. And then we've got some potions here that we might want. Mainly stuff for caving and possibly PvP. So we got speed, invisibility, night vision, and fire resistance. So say... If we take all four of these potions, we can basically just sprint through a cave without having to deal with any mobs and without having to lay any torches and not having to worry about fire or anything. So we can basically just sprint through a cave looking for our stuff, not worrying about anything, which could speed up the process quite a bit. So I think overall the layout for this room is pretty good. And now we're going to head over to the Blockception server again and start laying it out in the Parthenon. So I'll see you over there. Hey guys, so I'm up in the Parthenon roof. I transferred a bunch of smooth stone over here and I've been planning things out. Uh, this is going to be the shape of the whole room here. And not quite as much space as I would like because I did raise the floor a couple to make room for some redstone. Obviously I'll be bringing these boat elevators up to this floor. Possible I haven't actually checked what they're going to break into. Uh, that could be an issue. Yeah, I may end up taking these boat elevators out altogether because I don't really need them. I'm not planning on ever using them anymore because I'm going to have a portal. My exit portal be up here. But I'm going to be able to go back into the nether from the minecart station as well. Like I have a portal down there, but I always exit up top at my quick kits and everything. So I think that'll be cool. And it's raining, of course. Let's have a nap really quick get rid of this rain but yeah I've just been laying this out I'll probably take the boat elevators out then and uh, this wall is gonna be empty at the moment I don't know I might decide to put something there and I actually made this odd number centric it's a uh, 19 long now along this wall instead of a uh, instead of 20 long so now it should all fit correctly so hopefully it'll all turn out good I'm just gonna throw in the dispensers not planning on leaving this a solid stone brick. I'm going to add some other stuff to it. And I think I'll throw my bed in like here or something. Just somewhere over here. Some safe spot where I can just walk in. Push some buttons really quick. And then get down somehow. I need to figure that out. I may convert that chair down there into like a glass tube or something. So I can just drop through. And just kind of have the Parthenon look fancy and that's about it. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show. I'm going to do some more work on uh, laying down the dispensers and everything, and I'll be back with you. Alright guys, so I'm back, and I've done most of the layout in the room. Uh, this bed might have to change, depending on whether it actually sets my spawn. Oh cool, I can test it now. So let's give this a shot right now, but not until I show this all off in case I die and have to cut. Uh, I'm going to have lamps where these torches are. 
And there's some torches hidden under this bed, which I'll also make lamps or something, or jack-o'-lanterns. And that should hopefully supply enough light. I'm also going to put jack-o'-lanterns behind here. Right now I've got torches. Um, but this is the general layout of the room. Not too fond of it. It's not the best room or anything. I just kind of threw it together really quick. I might put a pattern on the ceiling with like some cobble. And I kind of want to do something with this wall. Not exactly sure what I would do with it. But I might throw something in on that wall. Uh, just to kind of make it a little less empty. But I've been very tight for space on that side. I actually did have to uh, change a couple things on the roof up there. So it'll look a little bit strange if people look at the back of the roof. But hoping people don't very much. So yeah, that's going to look a little bit odd. But it's fine. So now my next step here is to get the frames going. And put the frames up top with all of the stuff and load up the dispensers. Got to hook up the redstone on this side for the armor dispensers. And then there's potions on that side. And got a single chest in the center here now. Oh, and these need to be stairs. That didn't occur to me till now. I got to change that really quick. Let's actually try making these upside down stairs. How's that look? Um, not bad. Not bad at all. I think I'll keep it that way. Yeah, that's that's not bad. So yeah, I'm going to go get my buttons and everything. And then I will come back and I'll hook up all of these dispensers. So I'll see you when they're hooked up. Oh yeah, the other thing I wanted to test. Uh, slash kill. Are we going to spawn at the bed? Nope. Okay. So I do need to elevate that bed or something. Or make it a larger area around it on the sides because that's not going to work so I'll do that and I will see you when all the redstone's hooked up and that's fixed alright guys so I've put most of the items in the frames uh, I haven't done the diamond helmet yet because I don't have many resources and some of these uh, frames still need to be filled in I'm going to use carrots mainly for uh, all of the food here because for long term food I'll use steak this is more for Crap, I just died, respawn, push the iron armor button or something, take a sword, take a pick, and then take one of all these potions, and basically you can just go sprinting through caves, trying to find your stuff, and with like the invisibility, no mob is going to see you or anything, you can basically just go flying through, and it should be pretty easy to get your stuff back, or like if you die and you want to go into PvP, you push the diamond armor button, and... Then you grab a sword, bow, and there will be an arrow chest. Grab a lava bucket, a flint and steel, water bucket. Where'd my button go? And then grab whatever potions you want from here. And, of course, some of the stuff you still do need to get from the storage, because this room isn't too big or anything. Oh, and as for this, I can't actually dispense those water and lava out. But I still don't want to have to break these or anything, so I've just got steps here. So I can, like, see the very edge of it. And just for the sake of symmetry, I did the same thing on the opposite side. Although I don't plan on using these bottom dispensers. And I don't plan on using the top ones over here. I just wanted to make it look all symmetrical. So, yeah. I'm... This room turned out okay. Not... It's not too bad. It's not too great. But I'm gonna be done with this room for the episode. Because there's some other stuff I want to do. Mainly... I have a lot of resource gathering to do, so I figured um, I'd do a little montage because I haven't done like a legitimate full-on montage type thing for a very long time. Probably I don't have no clue when the last time I did was, but I don't think I've really shown much caving or anything. So I'm gonna do a little caving and nether hunting for ghasts, things like that. Might pop in to talk occasionally. I don't know. Or it might just be a straight montage. And then afterwards I'll pop back in and maybe we'll do like one other thing before the episode's over. Something small. But until then, uh, here comes a montage and I'll see you in a bit.
it, so we cleared a lot there. Where are we right now? Yeah, I would estimate that we are out of range of the mob system right now, so this isn't helping that much. But I still need stuff either way. Uh, oh, more water now, more water now. Oh god, gold armor, skeleton, and a creeper. Jesus. Oh, gold chest plate. Yay. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Jesus Christ, this is a lot of mobs. It's like a Vex map. This is crazy. Screw legendary, let's just do this. Oh yeah, regarding the legendary, I don't know, I just... I know not many people follow legendary anyway. Uh, and, I don't know, I just haven't really had that much motivation to play it lately. So if anybody really wants to see it, tell me and I'll try to play it some more, but... I mean, I'm sure I'll get back to it a little bit eventually when I have some more time, but right now I would rather just dedicate more time to this, because I'm not really having that much fun with Legendary at the moment, it's just, I don't know, it's just, I'm just not liking it as much anymore, I'm not sure why. It might just be because I got stuck on stuff for so long, and like, I record two to three hours of Legendary and only get one episode. So I don't know, I might start doing like straight cut legendary, which would give me a lot more episodes, but getting out almost just as much, putting just as much time into legendary as my LP seems kind of pointless when the LP gets the large majority of the views. So I don't know, I might start doing the occasional like straight cut stuff, but I'm going to be releasing legendary very infrequently, I'd say. So yeah, that's all I've got to say regarding Legendary. If you really want to see some more Legendary, just uh, tell me and I may do it. I'm not sure. I will... I plan to release it at some point, but I don't know, not at the moment. I mean, I don't really have much recorded of it, and I don't really want to make it, honestly. It's just... It's gotten to be a chore at this point, and I don't like that. Jesus Christ, mobs galore. There's mobs everywhere. I'm gonna lose the god sword and my boots on this trip. Once I lose this god sword, I'm kinda screwed. I need to get a, a, another looting sword from this caving room. Wait, didn't I get a looting three? I'm not sure. I might have gotten a plan looting three. I feel like I may have, but I'm not sure. I might have seen that in a video and be confused. But yeah, this is the best way to get XP right now as well, which is another reason why I'm caving so much. Because I really desperately need XP. I need XP, I need diamonds, I need redstone. <laughs> ah, Andy. Uh, yeah, I would actually recommend checking him out. He's got some pretty good stuff. He doesn't release all Minecraft. He has some tribes to send stuff if you're interested in that. But, uh, yeah, he's got pretty good builds. He, uh, basically built my entire... Oh, for the love of God, what the hell? Where did I get a potato? Jesus. Okay, well, that, that wasn't very nice. I'm gonna get killed down here. I would have known there were going to be this many mobs, I would have brought like regen. Up, oh, jump, jump, and do some parkour. Okay, there we go, let's mine some stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna have to, uh, this cave is scaring the hell out of me. It's just, there are, all, I, there's a ton of mobs right now, I don't know why, don't know what's causing this sudden increase in mob cap or whatever it is, but it's just crazy. Die, guys, die. God damn it, can I walk two steps? I'm just gonna start ignoring the mobs and sprinting the cave. 
Oh god. Alright, well I think this is probably out of range of my uh, mob system, so... Let's see, I'm gonna go down this hole and check for diamonds or whatever, and then after that, I'm gonna head back up. I'm gonna go back down with an x-ray machine and look elsewhere, so I will see you then. Whoa. It, I just wanted to show this. This is a really cool area here. I'm probably gonna build something over here now. It's a... Uh, it's like a big open plain with like a circle, like a semicircle of jungle around it. It looks really cool in my opinion. Alright guys, let's test out how well this uh, farm is working right now, the blaze farm. Oh god, poison myself. Gotcha. Gotta use poison on these guys, nobody ever hooked up a crusher on it. Pen. Alright, um, now let's wait for him to stop not being damaged. Yeah, there's really... When you get all these blazes taking damage, it's a lot of sound lag. Alright, so are they ready to be killed now? These guys look ready. They look mentally prepared. Type. And let's see what we get. Oh god, there's still some left. Okay, those ones are not even close to dead either. Alright, well I just want my blaze rods mainly. I didn't really come here for the XP, but let's try this one. Are they all dead? Alright, so got like a stack of blaze rods. And still only level 24, so yeah, this thing doesn't exactly pump out much XP. Uh, anyway, I'm going to AFK this a bit longer. And I just want to use up these potions, so a couple more rounds. Because I want to get a good amount of blaze rods for potions and all that. So, yeah, I'll see you when I'm finished with that. Alright guys, so uh, we are at the spider farm, and I guess Andy's been doing some work over here. What does this button do? Oh, that's cool, I like that. So I'm assuming it's symmetrical then. Yeah, I like that, so you can just quickly pop that open and get bottles. Left. Uh, that's my fire resistance for a second, I was wondering why he left fire resistance in there. But anyway, here's the spider farm. Um, works pretty well, it looks like. Uh, not sure what's going on with those guys. I don't know. Normally they get by pretty quick. They probably just, their tracking got a little screwed up. So I'll have to fix that, but I'm just going to AFK here for a while. And I'll see you when I'm done. Across. Shit, shit, shit. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh god, this is very bad. This is very bad. Oh god, that can't be good. Excellent. And there's no safe way down from here really at the moment. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna go try to retrieve my stuff. This is very bad. And the quick kit isn't even ready yet. <laughs> and there's no minecart here. Excellent. Wait, why am I going down here? That's stupid. I just need to go into the portal. Oh, that was close. Well, that sucks. So I'm going to go try to retrieve my stuff and uh, seal off all these damn spiders. And I'll be back. Alright guys, uh, I got killed again, so I'm heading over there a little more geared up. Got the, what's left of my protection armor. Got protection for diamond boots, so that should n nullify most of the poison. If I take this regen, then I'll be taking no poison damage, hopefully. Got these, and I, this actually occurred to me after I got all stocked up. I'm relatively sure that a invisibility potion will make the spiders not see me as long as I don't bump into them. So I might be able to at least sneak around and get some stuff lit before I bump into one. And then, but once I start getting attacked, I'm, it might cause a big cascade of me getting murdered. So I'm going to drink speed and strength ahead of time and pop have the regen ready if I need it. But hopefully I can clear out all the spiders and light up the spawners before that happens. So I'm going to head over there and we'll see what happens. Alright guys, so I'm going to pot up really quick, and we're going to head in. I don't think that uh, spiders can see you when you're just armor, but I do want to keep the armor on just in case. 
just because I'm very worried. So I'm going to have the regen. All this stuff should stay long enough. I'm just going to head through, and if I get attacked, I'm going to immediately drink this regen, and I should be able to tank them. But they're not. I haven't bumped into one. Oh, man, here they come. And I should be able to kill them off relatively easily. I just want to get to that lever over there. There we go. That should stop the spawning on this one. And that should lower the spider flow significantly. Oh man, they've leaked into the redstone. Clearly. Alright, uh... Come on. There we go. That, that should hold off all of the spiders. Unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of repairs that have to be done on this redstone. Alright guys, so uh, while I was waiting here, I actually decided to go investigate how I could fix the end a little bit, since I really don't want to wait till Thursday at this point to get XP. It's so ridiculous how hard it is to get right now. So, I actually found out that all I have to do is delete some a couple chickens out of the end portal, and on the end side of it, and that completely fixes the server crash. So, uh, I'm going to end this LP off here, and I'm going to go do that. And just get the uh, end portal completely functional so people can go back to the end and get their XP the easy way without having to farm caving or anything like that. So yeah, I'm just going to end this LP off here. I know it's kind of sudden, but I really want to get some XP sources back up and running because it's really killing the server at this point. So server will be down for a few hours for everyone, but when it gets back up, we should all be able to go to the end and finally get some decent enchantments. Anyway, that's all for this episode, and until next time, see ya.